Hey, hello, welcome, guys. So in this video, we will learn how to unzip file in Oracle integration. So before going to make an unzip of the file, first what I will do, I have this zip file over SFTP server. I created this file in the previous integration, right? So I will first download this file from SFTP server to Oracle integration. Then I will make an unzip of that this file in Oracle integration only, right? So let's make let's go and create first integration. So let me create integration. Dot. I will create schedule integration. So x x sorry I will provide the name x x unzip file stage activity I don't want to provide any package name or any details so how our integration and he said said now we need to add the endpoints I will make it horizontal so what I need to do is that first I need to download the zip file from SFTP server to Oracle integration right so I need to use FTP connection so I will add FTP connection here and I want to download so download FTP next and I want to download the file so I added download what kind of file so input directory it will ask this is the input directory so I will copy this directory provide here file name I don't know the what will be the file name or if you will see let me copy this file name only right so here let me provide the file name and this is a download directory this is the Oracle virtual directory, right? So let me provide this directory only. So temp and v zip directory. Let me suppose this is the directory from in which I will download the file. So suppose I see zip directory. This is the directory where in which we have downloaded the file from SFTP server, right? So here you can see in FTP adapter only you can perform unzip operation, right? But I don't want to make unzip using this adapter. I want to make unzip using a stage operation, right? So just go to next and done. So that we can learn how to use unzip using a stage operation, right? So here you can see with the help of this endpoint, we are successfully downloaded the file from SFTP server to Oracle directory, Oracle virtual directory, right? Now we have to make an unzip of that this file, right? So for making unzip of this file, what we need to do is that we need to stage select the stage operation. Here we use unzip operation. So I give the name unzip as stage next, and here we need to select unzip file. So once you will select unzip file, here you can say we can also provide the file name and the file directory. And instead of providing the file name or directory, we can directly provide the file reference. So I will select yes, I want to provide the file reference so yes and you can see this is the last option specify the directory to unzip from where i want to unzip so suppose i want to unzip make a unzip sorry oic unzip tar. so suppose i want to make unzip here temp unzip directory right in this directory i want to make unzip so let me copy here and let me provide the first one let me provide the file reference so here from where i will provide the file reference as i have downloaded the file using download ftp so in the download ftp we have ics file inside that ics file we have file reference here so let me provide the file reference now done and we turn to provide the unzip file directory so this is the unzip file directory okay done so next done so here with the help of this FTP adapter, we downloaded the file from SFTP server to YC directory. And now we make an unzip of the zip file, which is available over YC directory only. So this endpoint will return, uh, return as the file reference, whatever file reference have file available inside the zip file, right? So if you will see, we can use a loop and we can upload this file to another directory also. Suppose here, if in this directory, suppose we created we let me create one folder and provide the unzip unzip directory right so i want to make an unzip of all the file available in this zip and to provide here in this folder right so what we can do is that for that you we know that if we have multiple file from in the zip file this unzip will return back the file reference so if you will see let me first show you the file reference right file reference of the multiple files so first let me enable the tracing start save close so here if we will activate this integration so i want to make a duplicate of that so that i don't want to navigate again and again 
so let me run this integration right so if i will run this integration what this integration will do it will return back the zip all the file which is available in the zip file as we have added the last endpoint right so here if you will see we don't have log message yet right so it will take some time to load the log messages so here it's also taking time so here you can see we have downloaded the file from sftp server so what file i have downloaded you can see we have downloaded this zip file right this is the zip file and this is a directory from where we have in which we have downloaded right so now if you will see in this unzip and this is the receive from unzip it means this is the response of this unzip status if you will click here you can see all the file available in this zip directory so here you can see this is the first zip first file inside this zip unzip directory and this is the second file inside this zip directory right so here if i will copy this one and i will paste here you can see this is the list of values as we have multiple files here you can see this is ics file this is the repeating element right and each and every ics file contain the file name and the file directory and the file references you can see file reference inside the file reference we have file name and all all these things right so we can also use ftp adapter to write these two file over sftp server only right so for that what we need to do is that we need to edit this integration So here in this endpoint we have all the file references right whatever file available in the zip file right so what we need to do is that as we know that there can be multiple file inside the zip right as we have array element right you can send this is the array element right we have these two file right so what we will do we will make a loop on this array element and for that loop we will use that the activity so here for we need to use for each loop here and here it will be unzip for each right and we need to provide the variable name so i will use for each underscore loop var i always prefer to use loop variable name same as the name we provided for this for each activity and here we need to provide the repeating element so as i told you this is the repeating element of the response of this unzip file so here if you will see unzip stage if you will expand this one so here whenever you will get that kind of issue right it's blinking and it's not going to expand what you need to do is that you need to first cancel this one and you need to add again so here i have a day it, it can be issue related to the network issue and all so here expand this one once you will expand list file once you will expand this list file you can see here ics file this is the symbol of repeating element it, is, it means that the array element you can see ics file inside the list file we have ics file right ics file inside that if you will see we have the file reference you can see file reference and the file name inside the property so i want to make a loop on this file reference this ics file so done so here whatever file it will available in this zip file it will run the loop on that time only and in each and every loop we have the file details right so i want to place that file over server only for placing the file we require ftp adapter so we will use ftp adapter here only so here we will use write ftp and here we need to use write and here we have to provide the directory output directory where we have to write the file so where we have to write the file in this unzip directory right so i will copy this this one here and what will be the file name so this file name i don't want to provide here i will provide the file name from that response of that stage one right unzip one so i will provide any temporary name as it's required to place file over here name here right go next and i don't want to provide the structure as we are not aware about that what kind of file in that zip zip file content so next and done so here as i have not provided the file name here so first we need to go to the edit I we need to provide the first we need to provide the file name what kind of file name will be and the file reference which file we need to place so here if you will see the unzip for each loop this for each loop contain the ics file inside the ics file we have file reference and inside the property we have file name so we will provide file name here so it will place this file with this name over ftp server so it's validate 
close. So what it will do is that first it will download the zip file from SFTP server to OIC, then make of NGIF and zip file, and we added the for each loop based on the file number of file we receive from unzipping the file. And suppose we have two files, so this loop will run two times, and each of every time we added the for each we added the FTP adapter. So in first run, this FTP adapter will pick first file and place over server. In second run, it will take second file and place over server right so let me save and close so now we have to run activate this integration done so uh, let me first delete this one we have to duplicate okay now what we need to do is that we need to run this integration right so submit and done submit here click on this instance instance id so now it in queue status let refresh here you can see schedule complete a succeed right so if you will go to the sftp server here we don't have file right once i will refresh the both file will be available here only you can see in the unzip file we have these two files as this zip file contain the two files so if you will see here i downloaded the zip file and in the zip file you can see we have two files right you can see in the zip file we have these two files and this two same file we found in this ngif folder right so this is the complete video where I had told you that I, I have taught you how to read file zip file from server and how to make an unzip of that file and how to again place the file over server only. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any other query, you can make a comment of that in this video only. And yeah, obviously if you find this video useful, thank you so much. Please subscribe this video. Thank you so much for joining.